Hi, so this is my shader, VHS Pro shader for Unity 3D. And I'm gonna tell you like how, how it works. This shader emulates all the different things which ha are happening in analog signal and cathode ray tube screen and VHS uh, tape basically emulates all the small things. And the, the most important thing, uh, which gives this kind of retro look, is uh, bleeding of a screen that uh, actually ray, when it goes on the screen, the screen keeps glowing uh, a bit after ray is gone. And like you can see this, this kind of bleeding, I can just make it a bit more like... But apart from that, there are a lot of other things which are happening in in the signal. Okay, so I'm gonna go through all the small sections and show how how they work. So the first, the most important one is the the bleeding. Uh, like you can emulate this like cathode ray tube screen bleeding. Um, Okay, the, the next one is um, vertical resolution. You can go 240 or less lines and this will quantize the height of the screen. Uh, I can show you just less that you can see like that it's now it's much smaller. It's actually you can go 240 as it was like real VHS or, or whatever you want like um, or stick to full screen. And the next one is um, CRT, color tube mode. There are different kind of bleeding like like this one or this one, which could be a bit slower. Yeah, you can also adjust it. Yep. Uh, the fish eye emulation, uh, like you can make a fisheye, uh, maybe not too much, but yeah. There is also a vignette, uh, but yeah, it's not super fancy, it's like kind of pulsating and you can do more or less depending of, on if you do like some spy cam screen or something. So the next section is noise section, this one, and uh, here I'm trying to emulate different kind of noises in signal or tape noise, like if you have old tapes playing with VHS player, you can have this kind of noises. Okay, so the first is uh, vertical resolution of noise. You can like uh, stick to the original resolution of cathode ray tube, or go less, like let's say 40, and then first noise is a background noise, you can go more or less, yeah, just standard film grain kind of noise. The next one is a tape noise, uh, which is actually what you could experience with the old tapes. You can go make more of it or less. Uh, you can also make it more transparent or bright and adjust the speed. And then there is this line noise, I called it. It's basically like this lines popping up, just some kind of also mistakes in the signal. Yeah, we'll just put it not that intense. Yep, next one is a jitter section. Um, so the jitter, like first is the floating lines. If you go to like a really small resolution, like let's say like this, and then you can um, do floating lines and you have this like, the lines actually floating down. So you have this like really weird effect, but I'm finding it actually super cool like if it would be like some special kind of vision or like 
for like some monitors in the game or something like uh, yeah so I just left it and you can use it like you can actually also show the scan lines in between the lines like it's black lines and yeah they work the best on a low resolution and then next comes the stretch noise which emulates this like kind of stretching lines uh, like yeah going up and down like you could find it also on old um, kind of tapes if you have a, like some bad tape if yeah like this it actually looks better it also works quite cool on a big resolution like in a full screen or something looks cool um yeah the next one is a, is a jitter okay i'll try to turn it off this stuff to show the jitter okay jitter there are two kinds of jitter one i called horizontal uh which just shakes kind of the the screen a bit uh so if you have like a static picture it's still not doesn't look static it's kind of um, adding this like hum into signal or something and the next one is a uh, another one jitter like called vertical jitter which also adding a bit of like color shifting and if we go to high resolution to be more noticeable but basically the idea is if you have a static like picture then it, it makes this like really strange signal hum like emulates the real like analog um, analog signal like analog video signal um, so the next one is the twitch horizontal the thing is like so it sometimes it will kind of twitch this image like this uh, like up and down like if you would have a bug in your like signal and the twitch vertical is, is like yeah twitching it and um, like this actually i'm gonna switch them later i just realized that they named wrong so and uh the last section called signal tweak um i can show what it does like basically when the signal goes in the the analog signal goes it's doesn't it's not saved in rgb it's saved in yiq the special values and i i made this section that you can actually the tweak or adjust the, the signal a bit like and because um it actually makes it like really funny like you can add like really funny coloring to your signal it's in a kind of vhs way so like for example this one like you can make it decelerated and then or like adjust the color it looks kind of weird but the funny thing i was finding a lot of this kind of effects and all 80s movies when they were actually playing with the analog signal also so it actually looks I mean for me it actually gives a feeling of some old um, TV screens and VHS like because I used to watch all this old movies and stuff yeah. Um, well, um, the last thing I want to show is um, like you can actually use the movie texture like to uh, put effect. Mm. I don't know. You can like come up with a really like funny and unique effects actually i don't know like i was i've been working for this for almost a year and i i like just put everything together and um 
just that you can play around with this and yeah anyways i i hope uh, you enjoyed uh the video and like just write me in comments if you have any questions or anything like Thank <laughs> you.